Hey, I'm Fred Minnick, and today I'm going to talk about the sticker police. Giddy up! So in a recent episode of Bourbon Pursuit, which I missed, I missed the roundtable. We were out for our anniversary in New Orleans, and I wasn't able to chime in about the new uh, effort by distilleries to make you sign a waiver or some kind of uh, agreement that you will not put stickers on bottles after they are uh, bottled for you as a single barrel. Now, I happen to have a pretty firm opinion on this. I think this is a really bad idea. I think it's a bad move by distillers. I think it sets a precedent that you can dictate uh, to consumers. And yes, absolutely, a business has a right to do something like that, you bet. But has any distillery actually been damaged by a sticker? Well, you could argue that New Riff almost was, almost was damaged. New Riff is, has seen it hard, they've been hit harder than anybody. Um, you know, that Rick Patino one with, with uh, strippers and everything, they damn near got boycotted by, uh, by people because people were connected to that. So, I mean, that is absolutely the case. But... Also, when you when you buy something, you know, can somebody then dictate to you what you do with it? I mean, I don't know. It's just kind of the world we live in. You're seeing artists like do things to sneakers and, and selling. And I know that Nike is not very happy about that. But at the end of the day, um, you're still trying to restrict consumers who are supporting your brand. They're having a little fun with it outside of it. And 99% of the people do it in good taste, and it's uh, kind of changed the conversations in bourbon groups a little bit. It's been fun. It's allowed people to kind of brand their own brands, and I personally don't see anything you know wrong with that. Now, if you have uh, things that are violating trademarks, if you have you know if someone is reselling them, then that's a different discussion. But to Throw it down the ladder that the people are not allowed to do any additional stickers on the bottles. It's just, it's just a step that I don't think we need to take. And I think it'll end up backfiring on brands that do this. So I didn't get a chance to chime in on the discussion of this with the Bourbon Roundtable. So I'm just throwing it out here on my little channel on the YouTube. And... Um, I don't put stickers on my barrel picks. I just give them my logo and they can put, do whatever they want with it. But it's not my thing. I don't do it. I don't actually particularly care for them. But I don't like the idea of telling a group that they can't put you know, their kicking chicken label on a wild turkey bottle or you know, someone has um, a grandfather they want to remember. I, I, just, I, just think that's just, I just think that's a bad look for bourbon. But that's going to do it for this hot take. If you want to see other hot takes, click that subscribe button so you don't miss one. Also, make sure you get, you know, get in the reminders as well so you never miss an episode. Uh, I've got tastings dropping every week as well as uh, interviews with celebrities as I taste bourbon with them. And uh, if you'd like to become a member, just click the join button and join the wild party in Ascot Nation. But that's going to do it, folks. Please be safe out there. Remember, no licking handrails, no licking trash cans. And... Vodka sucks, unless it's being used for hand sanitizer. Cheers, everybody.